Right guys, um, I don't know how well this is going to work out. Um, I'm using my little actual digital camera today. I bought out the video camera but I forgot to uh, check the battery so there's the thing. Um, yeah, I was going to do a little vid later on um, how I use the potassium penalgamate and the glycerin. So I'm just going to find a dry spot. We have had rain, hence the puncho, and um, yeah, and it's really starting to kick up with a bit of wind, which is a bit concerning in this woodland. This is where most of the trees come down, so uh, yeah, I'm a bit, a bit dubious. So I need to try and find a clear area just to keep safe. There's a lot of beech here and and a lot of diseased or infected trees, if you like, and they're weak. Um, we had a huge thunderstorm about two days ago, which is quite rare for where I live. Actual thunder lightning and really torrential type. Yeah, it's full on. So uh, no doubt some of these have been weakened again. So, uh, yeah, I need to watch where I'm going, sort of thing. And well, just to show you how dodgy some of it is, the a pioneer look it's got all these holes all over it and you know a bit of wind Sorry about the camera work. Yeah, that's just mush. Look at that. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> tread carefully and uh, find a little place to chill. Um, probably put the puncho up. I'm hoping now this rains now moved on hopefully all right I'm gonna head off in that direction I'm gonna shut turn this off for a sec just to save the battery or what have you yeah. Yeah. and no doubt there's gonna be some new trees down from yes well two days ago because it was blowing a bloody hula so catch you soon well found yourself a little place to to chill uh, as you can see there's another fallen tree this one's been down a while I've seen this one before but uh, yeah it's a, a lot of fatwood so, uh, I've harvested some bits off of this in the past uh, yeah that's yeah, been down a good few months <coughs> but, uh, I've got a nice natural timber roof in there so uh, yeah, I'm going to pump myself down here and <clears throat> out the wind then. And I've uh, got a nice little view of the, the woodland. So if any passing deer, there's a couple of trails down here that I know of. So, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. So I'm just going to get comfortable. And probably have a bit of pine needle tea on the go. And... Uh, yeah, so I'll catch you in a minute. Right, okay. Um, I don't know if you can see me any very well, what have you? I can't see <laughs> what I'm recording. Uh, anyway, I've got my uh, little pocket stove on the go down there. I'm just going to knock up some uh, pine needle tea. And so I'll let that cook off. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to show you is. How I normally use the bit, the old uh, potassium. It's not, be a, it's not going to be a long video or anything. The potassium penalgamate. You've seen this before. I, should, I did a, a little video on it. In here, I've got glycerin BP, which um, you can get from boots, places like that, chemists, and all that sort of stuff. And in this tube, I've got two sachets of uh, potassium 
and out, mate. Uh, and a, a little bit of old t-shirt cotton, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to use that. I'm not actually going to make a complete fire. I'm just going to show you how I sort of knock it up. <clears throat> Ideally, as well, because these come in crystals. It's just you know. I've got like a, like a little thing that you get in a kitchen for crushing up herbs. I've got an old one of those, but it's quite nice to actually crush some of it up into like a powder, just to speed up the reaction. But you don't want to speed it up too quick, otherwise, whilst you're uh, you know getting it all together, you don't want it going off too quick. And also with this is there's a lot of prepping involved, like um, getting all your kindling ready. So you've got all your all your smalls, your mediums, and all the rest of it, and your little tinder bundle, which this will go into, and then just let the chemical take over and do its thing. Um, I wouldn't use the whole sachet. I'll probably use half of that for a burn. You know. Basically, I just tip a bit of this. This is ideal, this thing. This is the glycerin I've got stashed in here. Basically all I want is a couple of drops of that. The thing is it's quite cold as well so And all you've got to do is really is just add a little bit of friction to that. And just wait. Patiently. <laughs> yeah. The idea is it got <coughs> as well because it will smoke and burn a lot longer. As you can see now, it's starting to smoke. And there we go. See, this is like the cotton will preserve the, the flame for a while and that's more than enough I mean that's so intense heat that will catch any tinder on like that and, and it still gives you that that little while to play around with it and you know whilst that's getting ready to do its thing you can prepare the rest of the fire but um, yeah it's good it's good good gear the reason I like this sort of thing, it's it's a surefire for me. Um, I listened to a, you know, I've been to the wilderness gathering this year and listened to some of the, the talks from different people. You know, you've got like the traditional bushcrafters and so on, and, and you've got the survivalists and all the rest of it. And, you know, I, I, I spend a lot of time on the coast. I mean, it's wet. It's cold. It's moist in the summertime. It's you know it's you know so 
and I, I do make a, a habit of using my ferrocene rod as much as I possibly can, you know, all the time. But I will always use the lighter as well if it gets difficult. If I've been paddling for a good few hours um, and get caught in the weather, get wet, get a bit cold, and I'm a bit tired, um, then yeah, something like this for me is just brilliant because it's I'm not <clears throat> getting warm trying to make a fire. Do you know what I mean? I'm, you know, it's just one of those. It's, it works for me. Like I don't. I'm not saying it's for everybody. Um, and you've got to be careful with this stuff as well. You've got to be careful near um, ponds and stuff like that. I, you really want to keep this stuff away from it because it can contaminate. The water. I know you can use it for disinfecting water, but small doses. I don't use it for anything like that. I just use it for making fire. Um, and as you, as you can just see, it, it, it works. It doesn't take very long. There's not a lot, of great deal of effort in it. You know. And um, so yeah. So there's my little um, my little effort choosing that gear. And it is well worth wrapping it in the cloth. As you can see, the cloth will last. It will keep burning, you know. And because um, if you just mix it with the powder, uh, with the potassium and the glycerin together, it just goes woof, and that's it. Basically, it will just die down. It will be enough time to catch your tinder on fire, but you've got that bit of um, cloth there to smoulder away. So, uh, if all else fails, you've still got some sort of you know, fire source to, to play with. See my tea is almost ready. So yeah, so that be it, guys. And uh, so I'll, there will be some more vids soon. Just really, really busy at the moment. Um, a busy time prepping for the wilderness gathering, and it was a great day, uh, a great weekend. Met up with some old people that I knew, and. Uh, Met some new people, which was cool. Met a couple of the YouTubers, which was nice. And uh, you know, put names to faces and all that. That was pretty cool. So, uh, so thanks for watching, and once again, thanks for the subscriptions and the comments. I do apologise for if I don't reply to all the comments. It's just like um, I'm busy with work at the moment, and it's that time of year now where the, the canoeing thing sort of building with the canoe sort of dies down a bit um, and I do a like an everyday normal job from now until the new year if you like so uh, I will be busy but I will be doing small vids um, I'm hoping next weekend that I'll definitely be down at Delston Bayway doing a bit of coastal stuff um, whether I'm in my canoe or not I'll I'll be down that way, um, so I'll, I'll sort that one out. And, uh, I hope this little canvas works all right. Uh, quite, uh, yeah. Just going to show. I've done everything on a whim today. Everything was last minute. I just legged it out. So, anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. See you later, guys.